The signs of sex trafficking can be subtle, but according to the Idaho Anti-Trafficking Coalition, they're happening all around us. So tonight, a free training on spotting the signs. KPLY 2's Abigail Taylor's live to tell us why they believe this is the answer to stopping sex trafficking in our state. Natalie, tonight's training is happening at the Vineyard in Garden City, and they say that this is a first of its kind event, and they can tell that there's been a desire for it in our community because already there's been more than a thousand people to RSVP on Facebook. Until now, the Idaho Anti-Trafficking Coalition has primarily focused on outreach to victims. Now they hope to expand their outreach to the community with a focus on prevention. According to the coalition, the rural makeup of Idaho makes sex trafficking in our state distinctive. 75% of cases are familial, meaning people are selling their own children and family members for income. Idaho just is unique in that we're super, super far behind. And for that reason, we like to live in an, in an environment where we just live and let live. We don't pay attention to what's happening in our backyard. But there are other states who've been spearheading this for well over 15, 18 years. And so it's just time for us to um, pay attention and really get involved. Zeigler hopes tonight's event will create a momentum in Idaho that will lead to change. She says more than anything, she wants to see a change in current laws to protect rather than criminalize victims and to remove the stigma against them. And tonight's training is step one to that goal, and they say that there will be many more like this one to come. Live in the Satellite Center, Abigail Taylor, KBOY 2 News. Experts say it's a problem we just cannot ignore. The coalition says there were 80 social media posts made online in Boise in the general area that advertised girls for sex just last month. More than 400 calls to the National Human Trafficking Hotline have come from Idaho since 2007. Tens of millions of adults and children are affected worldwide. The event again tonight is free. It will be at the Vineyard in Garden City from 6 until 8 o'clock. A new